Hi guys, it has been a while, so in case you've forgotten, I am Kathleen Lewis. On this channel, I love to chat about homeschooling my two kids, one of which is gifted, and I also love talking about giftedness in general because I'm a year and a half into my own discovery of my giftedness. Now, it's been a while because I had a two-week vacation planned, and then I had gifted burnout issues, which I'll talk about in a minute, and then I had a medical issue that has kept me out for at least a month and a half. So in all that time that I've been on the couch, unable to produce more content for you guys, I've been watching the comments come through on my video of the trouble of being gifted. So let me take a minute and let you guys know, I have heard you. I appreciate all of the comments you've been putting out there about your own experiences. And I would love to be here for you guys a bit more than I have. So. I am planning on some changes on this channel, sharing a little bit more about my own gifted journey. I'm still going to do the homeschool stuff and share about homeschooling and my own gifted son, but there's not a lot of practical ideas for adults out there on dealing with their giftedness. Now I'm stumping around in the dark here, trying to learn as I go, and I'm just going to share with you what I figured out if you guys have more ideas or suggestions, I'm always ready to hear your experiences, so feel free to share that with me. But because of my two and a half month hiatus, I had a lot of time to think and deal with the gifted burnout that I was experiencing. So let me tell you guys how I did that. Now, yes, everyone in the world can experience burnout, but from what I've read, gifted burnout has a bit of a nuance that a typical person's burnout doesn't. It's, I guess, a bit more overwhelming than a typical person would experience because of our perfectionism. We have such a high standard for ourselves that we burn out because we're not able to achieve it fast enough or to the level that we want. Or maybe we have too many projects that we've taken on because we're so excited about all of them. And then there's the emotional component too of wanting to meet these expectations that you've put on yourself and then feeling like failures when you can't. So yes, I had a second YouTube channel that I was tossing around ideas, writing um, scripts for, for wanting to produce. I have this curriculum that is still in the works. I've not given up on it but I was pushing myself to get out too soon and dealing with perfectionism with that. So it's gonna be a while before I get that to you guys. Um, I had my reading list, I told you guys in another video, stacking up and it was getting pretty tall. And then there were the to-dos around the house, the projects, the um, life experiences I wanted to do. So it was overwhelming. So I had to purge. Um, first thing up was getting rid of a whole the, all the books that were causing me anxiety and stress because I did not have time to read them as a busy mama too. Um, another thing I had to do was a lot of journaling, figuring out what was going on in my mind, what the emotions, where the emotions were coming from, um, and some of the more existential thoughts that I was struggling with. And then mixed in on top of all of that was my own struggle to accept the reality of my own giftedness and what that meant and what that looks like and how to deal with it and the fact that I am gifted. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm still figuring things out about my life, about my giftedness, about how to deal with my son, which I've got a video coming out about that, how I um, kept my son occupied while I was on the couch for a month and a half. Um, but if there's anything you guys specifically want to ask me, feel free, drop them in the comments. If you guys have any questions, I want to hear them. Put them down in the comments. Share them with me, your own experiences, because we're all on this journey together figuring out how to do life. 